Welcome to our video about misconceptions. And in this one, we're specifically talking about a misconception that kids tend to have when they are building their understanding of addition. Now, let me take a moment to describe the difference between a misconception and a mistake. Both often lead to a wrong answer. And so if we don't dig into how the students are thinking about it, we don't often know if it's a mistake or a misconception. So a mistake is often when a child misremembers something like a fact or a procedure. It happens usually when they're trying to follow a rule and a procedure, but they don't remember the exact steps or they see a fact. Like sometimes when I see four times three, I think seven just because I see four and three and I think, that makes a seven because I added instead of multiplying. That's a mistake. That is not something based in my understanding of mathematics. And that's when misconceptions happen. Misconceptions actually happen as a natural development of students' understanding. They, what they are doing in the moment makes sense to them. It is based on their mathematical understanding at the moment not just because they misremembered a fact or they didn't do the steps properly, okay? So that's the difference between mistakes and misconceptions. So this misconception around addition is actually something that you may never ever see your students have. And that's because the effects of it don't often show up until later. So a misconception that kids tend to start to grab throughout elementary school around addition is that when you add, the answer is always bigger. So they see when they're doing addition problems and they see the answers always, always, always getting bigger. But then when they start to work with positives and negatives, our integers, they it doesn't make sense to them because how can you add and the sum end up being smaller than what you started with? So I know that, you know, you aren't going to be doing negative numbers in elementary school. Okay, here's a quick little example of an activity that you could do that explores addition, number patterns, what happens when we add, but also might give a little hint to kids that there's something beyond the addition they're currently working on, just something for them to think about. So if you start with 26 plus three, you get the answer, talk about it, and then move into, oh, 26 plus two, my animation's a little bit off, then 26 plus one, and then can you guess what's gonna come next based upon this pattern? 26 plus zero. And what's happening to our sum every single time? And then talking about, wow, Okay, what would come next if we're using this pattern? So it's not like we have to have them explore and think about adding negative numbers, but guess what? They could on this problem because they need to talk about that there are numbers less than zero, right? And they can use what they've seen happening to the sum, which I don't have up here on the screen, right? But you would put this up there with your students and they will see that it's a decreasing by one every single time. So they can, just using the patterns of numbers and what they know about addition can surmise the answer to this last problem without really understanding what it means to add negative numbers, right? But it's helping them see that the answer is getting less as, they, as the amount that they are adding gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And that continues even as they go into working with negative numbers. So again, it's not like we have to explore negative numbers, but we can explore patterns that happen when we're adding that would allude to this idea that the number does not always get larger than the original add-in that we started with. All right, so now it's your turn. Let us know down in the comments some kind of misconception or thing that you're seeing your students struggle with when it comes to adding numbers. And let me clarify one final thing. When we ask what you see kids are struggling with around addition or subtraction or multiplication or division, whichever one of these videos you are watching, um, it is not when kids just don't know their facts. I'll ask that you don't put that one in the comments, okay, as something that kids are having a misconception around. There might be a specific fact that kids are struggling with or a strategy that you see them trying to use as they are working on building their understanding of their facts. But a blanket description of kids just don't know their facts, that is not a misconception. 
that's something that we are helping them build an understanding of. And so what specifically are you seeing that they are struggling with when it comes to learning and understanding the basic facts when it comes to addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division? All right. So let us know what kinds of misconceptions kids are having when it comes to building their understanding down in the comments.